Welcome back to Primetime News and a special welcome to those of you watching on OneSpotMedia.com. Dramatic outbursts by family members overshadowed the Thanksgiving service for eight-year-old Daniel Rowe, who was laid to rest today. Daniel's murder triggered national outrage after she was abducted in St. Catherine and her body found in St. Andrew. Jamela Maitland tells us more. Draped in the Jamaican colored flag with red paint splattered all over it is the casket of little Daniel Rowe. The casket also had a t-shirt with a photo of the child's last moment in hospital in a neck brace and not too far away a knife. The country bloody and if everybody gets to understand that the country bloody, a bloody country we live in on a day and dead. Overwhelmed with emotions, her mother Sudine Mason wept uncontrollably. <laughs> Daniel Rowe, who was taken from the Brayton Primary School by an unknown woman, died after her throat was slashed. Her death has seemingly caused a split in the family. Inside the church, the father's family on one side and on the other, those related to the mother. The mother didn't speak at the service. However, Daniel's father, Corporal Noval Rowe, gave remarks. My daughter. Outside the church, loud outbursts from family members accusing each other of maliciously changing the program. They cut out the family. Nobody can say nothing. Minister this and minister that. Go get your picnic. The pastor provided clarity. Her name was not on the program, so we did not take her name off the program. She when we met them in the office, she requested that she to be a part of the program, which we did say to her, all right, we will give you the opportunity to do the prayer for the bereaved family. The education minister in a statement denied it played any role in the planning of the program. Minister Favel Williams was not on it, but the ministry said the pastor requested a statement. She then called for those with information on the June 8 abduction to speak with the police. There have been demonstrations of condemnation. But beyond all of this, I ask, is there no one who saw something, anything, that can help the police in their investigations? The attacker or attackers must be brought to justice. Daniel's teacher remembered her as a polite, disciplined, and a brilliant child, a top achiever in her class at the Brayton Primary. Her classmates, members of the Jamaica Constabular Force and the political directorate, were also among those sitting in the packed pews. At the Medaris Memorial Park, however, where Daniel was laid to rest, the gathering was much more intimate. Jamila Midland, TVJ News.